All right, we're going to talk about parametric equations and how we can remove the parameters to show the equivalent rectangular equation without our parameter t. So what we want to do is be able to write this as a single equation with just x and y involved, no t's. When we say rectangular equation, that's one that we would typically graph on our Cartesian coordinate plane, and so that is why we would want just x and y involved. Okay. What you want to do is use one of these equations. It can be either one, but it's best to pick the one that's easiest. And you want to solve for t. Okay, now this would invite, if we wanted to solve this one for t, that would involve subtracting 4 and dividing by 3. And to solve for t over here, we would just have to multiply by 2, which is a simpler action. So it would probably be best to solve this equation for t, get t all by itself. So to remove a 1 half, if I multiply by 2, and whatever you do on one side, you have to also do on the other. So I multiply by 2 here, and I get 2x is equal to t. All right. Now that I have that, I'm going to take that value and substitute. Since t is equal to 2x, I'm going to substitute that into my other equation. Okay, which one, ever one you didn't solve for t, you substitute it into the other. Okay, so that gives me y equals 3 times t, but remember we're substituting, and instead of t, we're going to put its equivalent, or 2x, plus 4. So notice I put the exact same equation, I just replaced the t with the value I knew it was equal to. And then you simplify. 2 times 3 is 6x plus 4. Four. Perfect. Now, sometimes they'll give you a parametric equation and give you um, values for t, like a range. So let's say they wanted you to graph for t between 1 and 8. When you change this, and if you want to keep those restrictions, all you have to do is take, again, what you solved t for was equal to 2x. Okay, and replace that. And then solve this so that you just have an x, since our equation was in terms of x and not 2x. So to do that, I would have to divide by 2, um, which means I'd have to divide by 2 everywhere else. So that would give me for x between 1 half and 4. So this didn't have that restriction, but if they do give you a, a restriction, that is how you determine what your new um, domain will be what values you want to go between okay but that's that's the drill you just solve one of the equations for t substitute that value into the other equation and simplify that gives you your equivalent rectangular equations you've eliminated the parameter t All right, let's remove the parameters to find an equivalent rectangular equation. So again, we want to solve one of these equations for t. It can be either one. Um, now, if we look at this, this has t squared. So to solve that for t, we would have to take the square root, and we would have to put plus or minus here. I don't really want to deal with plus or minus a square root. So instead, I'm going to solve this one here for t. To do that, I would have to add 2 to both sides, and that gives me y plus 2 equals 3t. And then I would have to divide by 3, which means I have to divide everything by 3, which I'm just going to divide that entire side by 3 to keep it a little simpler. If I need to divide through later and that works out better for me, I will. But for now, I'm just going to leave that as y plus 2, the whole thing divided by 3. Okay. So step one is to solve one of the equations for t. I selected this one so that I didn't, again, did not have to deal with plus or minus a square root. Okay, um, and now I'm going to substitute it into my other equation for t. So here is t. That gives me x equals, instead of t, I need to put this value here, which was y plus 2 over 3. And that's supposed to be squared. I want to simplify that as much as I can. So when you're squaring a fraction, you square the top, so I square y plus 2 squared, and you square the, the bottom or the denominator. Okay, so I get 
x equals y plus 2 squared over 3 squared is 9. Now this is how I would probably leave it. Um, we can also write that as 1 ninth times y plus 2 squared. Okay, that might be, these are the same equation just in two different forms. Um, you can go ahead and square this, but it makes it a little bit uglier. This is actually the standard form of a parabola. So that would be neater than um, multiplying this out because remember that would be y plus 2 times y plus 2 and we would have to FOIL it out. So this is probably how I would leave my answer because it's closest to a standard form of one of our um, graphs, which in this case was a parabola.